Another bill for you. This one's for me, and that's your bill. <laughs> oh, no! What's wrong, Cheryl? <laughs> oh, lad. What's wrong, Dad? What is it? It's Aunt Susu. Hello, my loving sister and brother-in-law. <laughs> Desmond and Shirley, as I affectionately know. I'll be visiting you on Friday the 13th. See you then. Love, Susu. Friday the 13th? That's today. Unlucky for some. If your sister's coming to say it's unlucky for us. Well, she didn't say she was coming to stay. Oh, well, she lives in Jamaica. We live in Peckham. She ain't exactly coming home. <laughs> I know, Desmond, but she is my sister. You mean after all the wicked things this woman has said about you, you call her she your sister? Well, I still call you my husband, don't I? <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not having that lying, cheating, scheming, cantankerous, adulterous, <laughs> flirtatious woman in this house. Well, just speak your mind, Dad. Now, my sister is not like that. She's just high-spirited. Well, look. If we explain to her that she could only stay for a couple of days, then she wouldn't take advantage. <laughs> Hello? Home office? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm afraid she's... she's not in. Mr. Turner, yes. Mr. Turner, I tell her that you called. That was for Susan, wasn't it? Yes. The woman giving out our telephone number, she didn't reach here yet. Good morning, Tiger. How do you feel after last night? Last night? Oh, I love a man who's modest. You do? You're like Clark Kent, aren't you? Mild-mannered assistant bank manager by day, but give you a phone booth or a wine bar, and you become Superman. Oh, yes, the wine bar. Uh, did I, um... Did you? Did I do anything embarrassing? Oh, well, I wasn't embarrassed, sir, but then uh, I'm not easily shocked. No. Don't worry, sir. You've given a whole new meaning to the term hands-on management. You say don't worry. <clears throat> Hello? Reverse charges? Okay, why not? Go ahead, caller. Hello? Hello, Michael. Speaking. Is your auntie Susu? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Listen, my nephew, I want you to come and pick me up now. <laughs> auntie Susu, I'd love to, but you see, I'm at work now and I can't leave the office. What do you mean you can't? I'm your auntie. You know how much it costs to make this phone call? Yes, I do. 50 pence every 30 seconds. That's right. <laughs> if you don't come and pick me up, I will stay on the line until you do. What? <laughs> you can't switch me off because I'm the one that's ringing you. <laughs> Want to bet? Michael? Michael? <laughs> Michael? Uh, now, Mandy. Yes, sir. About last night. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We're both consenting adults, and as adults, we sometimes do things that... Things, sir? <laughs> yes, Mandy, things. You see, when one's had too much to drink, one says certain things, and one does certain things that one wouldn't ordinarily do. Ah, but you know what they say, sir. When one has had too much to drink, the real one is revealed, as you were last night. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. That was most comforting. Mr. Ambrose's office. Yes, it's for you, sir. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, my girl. That's been a bit, huh? But I'm using the telephone booth next door and my last 50p. I didn't turn up on your fancy phone. <laughs> He's still being charged. You better come and pick me up. <laughs> Where are you? The station. OK. Birmingham. New Street Station, to be precise. Birmingham? an unreasonable man am I pork pie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who said you are, man? Oh, come on, Des. You're always saying that people don't do enough to help their families. The trouble is, Susu is not Desmond's family. She's my sister. I'm Desmond's sister-in-law. More like an outlaw. <laughs> Look, there is one solution to this problem. If you don't want to put her up for a few days, I will. You? you? Yeah, me. 
Any objections? Yes. You're too young. <laughs> For what? We're only talking about my spare room, pork pie. Hey, I get it. You're jealous. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Because you know she likes younger men. Well, she can stay at my place. I've got a room free which was vacated last week. Who, you? Yes. And what's wrong with that? Well, you're not too young, that's for sure. <laughs> I think that I should put her up. Because Susu and I have a history. We're from the same country. And as her fellow countryman, I know how to make her happy. Susu! <laughs> you look uh, all right. <laughs> That'll be all, Michael. Auntie Susu, don't you ever, ever do that again. Uh, uh, you know what happens to me when somebody tells me not to do something? Tell him, Cheryl. Well, what your Auntie Susu means, Michael, is thank you. Never again. <laughs> well, Desmond, aren't you going to greet me? Both sides, Desmond. This is Europe, after all. <laughs> so you, you could never marry a man like that. You lack passion. So, I see nothing change in the shop. You still your pork pie? Hello, Susu, darling. You mm -hmm. still here to match you? I thought you had more sense. <laughs> Hello, Tone. <laughs> so you see? OK. I'll come to the point. I'm only passing through. Have some fun, you know what I mean? Oh. I just want to shake up myself on the dance floor <laughs> and wind up my waist. <laughs> I know as you is family, Desmond, you'll be willing to put me up. <laughs> Isn't that right? Um, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. But this is a family home, and the things that I have in mind is uh, Strictly for adults only. <laughs> so uh, I've decided to stay elsewhere. Uh, anywhere in particular? I don't know yet. Well, you're most welcome to stay with me, <laughs> Susu. Thank you, Matthew. But it's not my mind that needs stimulating. <laughs> you know what I mean, Port Pie? <laughs> Your mom. You know them said that baldness is a sign of virility? <laughs> they do? Oh, yes. <laughs> How about uh, me and you going to a restaurant to start off with 7.30? After that, who knows? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Good. <laughs> can I leave up my bags at your house? I'll go one better than that. You can stay. You sure you can afford it? <laughs> yes, Mom. Give pork pie some money. Gladly, my little sugar pork. <laughs> Keep the chain. <laughs> and pork pie? Keep the lady. This is Susu, uh, a Mr. Turner from the home office rang. He wants you to ring him back. <laughs> you all right? Yes, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> what did you tell him? Nothing. Let's keep it that way. You ready, pork pie? <laughs> yes. Good evening, madam. Thank you, the waiter. Thank you. May I take your hat, sir? No. <laughs> See anything you like? Yes! <laughs> On the menu! <laughs> you don't raise your voice in a restaurant. They might think you're ignorant, but you don't have to act it, OK? OK, OK, sorry. It's just that you keep looking at the waiter. I, I just exercise in my eyes. <laughs> well, rest them now. So tell me, Susu, what's been happening? You didn't go back to Jamaica? No. 
I was staying with my ex-husband and sister in Birmingham, but uh, we outgrew each other. What do you mean, outgrew each other? She threw me out. <laughs> Can you imagine that after all I'd done for her? Thrown out like a dirty piece of garbage. <laughs> Just because the telephone bill was 400 pounds. What? It wasn't all my phone calls. I was missing my sons, and I hadn't caught up with the latest gossip in Jamaica. I was homesick. And lonely? You know the worst thing? After about six months, they said that I should earn my keep. I had to do all the washing up and cleaning for them. Why didn't you get a job? Because I'm not a resident of this country. Well, how did you survive? Well, you know, I had some rich admirers. But I'm fed up with all that now. They're only interested in one thing. I'm not, Susu. You're not? Why not? <laughs> Because I love you, Doreen. Don't call me Doreen! <laughs> I know it's my name, but people only call me when they're angry with me. Because I love you, Susu. Some wine, sir? No, champagne! Any particular champagne, sir? Yes! Champagne, champagne! A <laughs> bottle of your finest. Are you sure, sir? Yes, sir. Now go away. <laughs> Just exercising. Susu, I have loved you ever since the first time I saw you. You might think I'm an old man making a fool of myself, but you're no spring chicken. <laughs> and as time goes by, we need each other. Poor pie. Let's just take things slowly. Huh? Okay. You really love me? Yeah, man. <laughs> Good. Eighty-five pounds, sir. What? <laughs> Do nicely. <laughs> Poor Pai. Will you marry me? I will. I will. I do. I, I, yes, I do. I mean, <laughs> Yaman! <laughs> She loves me. <laughs> Desmond, what are you trying to do? Kill me? No. She might know. Who is she? Are you talking about my intended? Susu. Listen, Desmond. We've been friends for many years. But when I told you I was getting married, the first word to come out of your mouth was, why? <laughs> Not, that's great pork pie. Well done, like any normal person. But pork pie, let's hush up, Desmond. <laughs> All right. And I wasn't born yesterday. And. She might be taking me for a ride. Well, at least it will be a happy one. <laughs> Everybody always seen me as an old fool, even when I was young. They'll be rolling, and we might be foolish, but we love each other. You know what it's like living on your own at my age? Why well, do you think I spend so much time at the barber shop? Because I don't want to go home. Then now I can look forward to going home. I'm not young anymore, Desmond. And at my age, you find happiness where you can. I thought that. You, of all persons, would understand. It's all right for you. You have Shirley. D have his S. Well, P wants his S, too. Is that all right with you? <laughs> so long as you're happy. I am. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Best man? Best man. Um, there's a lady outside to see you, sir. Who is it? I'm not sure, um, but she said, tell him me here and me can't wait. <laughs> me need some money for an engagement ring. Susu. Sue. OK. Uh, Mandy, before you let her in. Yes, sir? What exactly did happen at the wine bar? And, and let's have the truth. <sighs> OK. We were in the bar. It was all very jolly until a group of yobs in grey suits, and I imagine grey underpants as well, uh, started looking at us. One got the distinct impression they didn't like the fact that we were together. Anyway, they came over and asked me if I wanted better company, to which you replied, 
If theirs was the best company on offer, they better call in the receivers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, the head lob took a swing at you. You pinned him against the wall, gave him a piece of your mind. Oh, you were magnificent. <laughs> uh, is that, um, all that happened? Sadly, yes, sir. <laughs> well, the whole place bought you drinks. Mandy? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You're a brick. Oh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a double wedding. <laughs> Come in. You wanted to see me, my loving sister, Shirley? Doreen, stop your stupidness and sit. I knew you were angry. You only call me Doreen when you're angry. I am not angry, Doreen. You see? There you go again. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> this must be serious because you don't know how to begin. Why is it that you always try my patience? Hmm? Why is it that after 50 odd years, I still feel responsible for you? You don't have to. Well, I do. And I think this time you've gone too far. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? I've no idea. Look, Doreen, don't act the innocent with me because it don't suit you. I see men eating out of your hand. I see you chew them up and spit them out. I see you flit from flower to flower like a butterfly. I see. Is jealous you're jealous? <laughs> of you? Hmm? A woman your age whose life has amounted to nothing? Why should I be jealous of you? So what is it you want from me? I'm sick to death of your look down your nose attitude at me. You think your life better than mine? Look at it. Is this a product of years of hard work? Could this crummy wall be upon mash up sofa? <laughs> you think I want that? Doreen, don't you ever come into my house and insult me. So now put your backside on that chair before I push you down. <laughs> before in my life have I been so angry. You are trouble, Doreen. You always have been and you always will be. And I hate to see you bringing that trouble to others. You bleed them, suck them dry. You make me sound like a vampire. <laughs> I'm surprised that you go for pork pie. <laughs> I mean, after all, he don't have no money. I love him, Shirley. No, you don't. You have never loved pork pie. If I had a pound for every time you called him an idiot, I could change the wallpaper by a new sofa. No, Doreen. I know what you're planning. I know why you're marrying pork pie and it ain't love. Shirley, why you can't believe me for once? Just this once. My loving sister, Shirley. <laughs> Susu. So, so, so what am I going to do with you? You could make me a cup of tea. <laughs> and don't forget to take tea with five sugars. <laughs> Hello? Ah, uh, yes. Just a minute. It's for you. Who is it? I don't know. Don't tell them I'm not here. Well, I told them you are already. And anyway, they must have heard everything because I didn't cover the mouthpiece. Hello. <laughs> Speaking. OK. I'm sorry. All right. Five o'clock. OK. Susu, you all right? I must go and see pork pie. Susu? Susu! So, Matthew, if pork pie gets married... Ah, when pork pie gets married. When pork pie gets married? I mean, he's not going to be coming round every day to sit with his little bosom buddy anymore, is he? 
Sean, pork pie has never been what I'd call a body or remotely connected with my bosom. <laughs> You know, it always amazes me how you two can sit there, day in, day out. I mean, you're so different. What do you find to talk about? Well, we talk to you, don't we? <laughs> well, I don't know. Some of the best relationships are based on opposites. I mean, take Desmond and me, for example. That's right. People often ask me why I stay with you. <laughs> in reply, I tell them I'm too busy to find somebody else. <laughs> Well, I think Pork Pie will still come round here anyway. Yes, to get away from Susu. Oh, yes, Mom. We promise we'll be more positive about the marriage. Oh, yes, Hello, everybody. I just like to show you all my new engagement ring bought for me by my new fiance, Porky Baby. <laughs> With a little help from my nephew. However, we have some news to tell everybody. I don't know where to start. Well, you better hurry up. He'll be here soon. OK. You were right, Shirley, as usual. I didn't want to marry Pork Pie because I loved him. You didn't? Oh. Mm -hmm. You certainly didn't marry him for his money. No. <laughs> I wanted to marry Pork Pie because I wanted to stay in this country. I knew oh, it. I knew see. it. The truth right. is, I've outstayed my visit here. and. Mr. Turner from the home office traced me to Birmingham to deport me. My stupid sister-in-law gave him your number. After you talked to me, sure, and I received a phone call, I felt I had to tell Pork Pie. I couldn't let him down. When I told him, do you know what that stupid man said? He said, he didn't care, and that he still loved me. For the first time in my life, somebody genuinely telling me them love me. Aww. So now I'm going. <laughs> Goodbye, Shirley. Goodbye. Thank you for everything. Gloria. Sean. Matthew, <laughs> this is ear meal. <laughs> Desmond. <laughs> Michael, you have the car? <laughs> I'm really serious. So you're really going? When Mr. Turner from the home office comes, tell him I gone. I have a plane to catch. <laughs> Come on, poor pie. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right, man. Don't worry. Everything turned out all right in the end. How can you say that? Well, I've got a fiance in Jamaica that I'm going to marry. All I need is a girlfriend here, and I'm laughing. 